Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at the different sections of the nephron and what specifically happens in each of those different sections. And um, We're going to start right at the beginning with number one on our diagram of the nephron. This is what we've already labelled even in a previous video. Um, so number one is the Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus, which I've drawn in more detail over here um, and labelled as we have done in our diagram before. So we've got the purple section, which is the Bowman's capsule of the nephron, and then our blood vessels, um, the afferent arteriole, A meaning arriving, going in, forming a capillary network called the glomerulus, which is inside of the Bowman's capsule, and then it leaves out of the efferent arteriole, so E meaning exiting. Now, within the Bowman's capsule, one of the main things that happens here is this thing called ultrafiltration. And this is a key word that you do need to remember. So this is um, one of the sites in your body which has got the highest pressure in a capillary network. Okay, so within the capillaries, they have a very, very high pressure and they are very permeable. This means that in terms of the glomerulus, which is made up of capillaries, this is very, very good to then start off ultrafiltration. So we've got an arterial here, which is quite a big blood vessel, which comes into the glomerulus and forms the capillaries, which remember are tiny, tiny, little vessels. That then means that this high pressure coming from the arterial becomes even higher pressure because you're forcing the blood through a very very small space. So an incredibly high pressure is inside of the glomerulus um, and also these little capillaries are very very permeable. So it means that it's able to squeeze out different parts or different substances from the blood into this Bowman's capsule here and that's the whole point of this section is we're trying to filter this blood coming through this glomerulus and out into the arteriole here. So one of the main things that is created from this is another key term. This creates the glomerular filtrate. Which is produced inside of the Bowman's capsule here. Okay, so all of this is filtered through from the capillaries and goes into this Bowman's capsule. So this is the glomerular filtrate. Now in terms of this, it's not just anything that can come through the capillary walls and go into the Bowman's capsule. Um, only small molecules are able to go through. So large molecules such as big proteins or uh, blood cells they are not able to move through from these capillaries in the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule here. It's only smaller molecules which we'll go through in a bit later what exactly they are. In terms of your Bowman's capsule, there are three layers which mean, which make up ultrafiltration. So the first layer are the fenestrations and these are little holes in the capillary walls. The second layer is the basement membrane and then the third are the podocytes. And these three things together form three filters which ensure that large molecules such as those blood cells or the proteins are in, unable to move through from the glomerulus and into the Bowman's capsule. It's only small molecules that are actually able to get through. 